little while since I've done the favorites video and I have some stuff I really like. I have other stuff I also really like, but maybe needs a little bit more time to kind of percolate in my life before I bring it on here. Now, I, I don't want you guys to like the washed out light and I'm in my bedroom, but to be perfectly honest with you, my desk is a hot fucking mess right now. And I can show you that if you want to see what a hot mess looks like in my my work area, I'll show you. But right now I'm just like, Ugh. I want to film this video, but I want to just get it done somewhere where it doesn't look quite so heinous. So that's what we've got going on here. These favorites this month are going to be either planner related or art related or whatnot. There's a few items that are not germane that, but they are because of how they're connected to it. You'll get it. So we'll talk about it. And the first thing is actually this shirt. I'm not going to stand up too much. And it's the tank top from Chrissy Ann Designs. It's the black one. I'm going to put a picture right about here so you guys can see it. I love it. It's racer back. You can see my bras hanging out just like, you know, because that's how I roll when I'm in my bedroom. But it's a nice light material. It's long enough on me even after washing. It kind of stretches where I want it to stretch. And it's just super comfortable. You can wear it as a jammy shirt, but I actually just wear it when it's balls hot, which it is today. So, and I wore it when I was in Arizona last week, which balls hot was like not even close to how hot it was. <laughs> Speaking of that trip, my second favorite is actually a newer favorite for the month, but I picked it up when I forgot my book and it's planner related because I'm going to use this when I go back to attempting to bullet journal and you will see a video of that next week. God save us. It's called, can you see it with all the blowing out? Get Your Shit Together by Sarah Knight. She's the same lady who wrote The Life-Changing Magic of Not Giving a Fuck. And the first book was kind of like a parody of the KonMari book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, but it actually had helpful suggestions on how to not give a fuck and create a fuck budget and all that. Not fuck buddies, fuck budget. Well, this book is, I'm still reading it actually, is how to stop worrying about what you should do so you can finish what you need to do and start doing what you want to do. I, fun fact, I always told myself I would have my shit together by the time I was 35, but I'm 37 and I saw this book and was like, fuck yeah, maybe that can help. So that lets you know about the status of my life. The next favorite that I have, and you're going to see kind of how much of a favorite it is because it is actually very much in use right now. And that is the tote that I got as part of my swag from the New York Planner Addicts meetup I went to in May. It's this tote. Now I love my Go Wild totes. They're so great for holding things. And I got a tote at the Arizona meetup that was great. But the reason I love this particular tote is how wide it is. This tote allowed me to carry my laptop in it and still have it be short enough to slide underneath the seat when I was on the airplane. Currently it's holding my, my music folder and some church shit because that's the last time I've used it is taking it to church on a day that I sang. I love this tote. The, stra the straps are long enough. It's already gotten beat up. It's kind of dirty. I haven't tried washing it yet, but it doesn't really matter because I just like it anyway. So yeah, NYC Planner Addicts, Catalina, good job, man. I'll, I'll link to their Facebook group because I have no idea who made this tote. I wish I knew, but I unfortunately am not that knowledgeable, question mark. This next one is going to come as no surprise if you follow me on Instagram because I have been a freaking hoe for this this last month or so. And that is the Jane Davenport Brights, Brights by Roger Rabbit today, Brights watercolor palette. So this I got from Michaels. I think it was like 30 bucks, but I used a coupon, like a 40% coupon on it. Yeah, and it's part of her collection, which I've been kind of a hoe for anyway. The water brush, the, water, the mermaid markers, love those. I love the other palette. I love the book, the, the journal book I got. But this, out of all whole collection, this palette I think takes the cake for me. I'm going to open it up. I did a video on this and the other palette. I'll link that. But, so I have, this is the card that has all the colors on it. Look how bright they are. I mean, it is the Brights palette, but like, look how pretty especially this green and this blue. Oh yeah. And then it looks like this. You can see it. Mine's already starting to get a little, it's hard to see with the light, but it's already getting a little beaten up because this, this fucker traveled with me to Oregon and I was painting flowers basically everywhere. I had a downtime when I was visiting my family. This palette went with me to Arizona. This palette's traveled quite a bit with me with a water brush and a piece of paper towel and your art journal. And this is good to go for doing all sorts of fantastic so yeah, highly recommend this. 
use a coupon. This is a newer favorite, but I knew this was gonna be a favorite because I had heard great things about it and I just hadn't been able to get my hands on it. And I did when I was in Arizona, I bought it from Photo Bella. Um, I'll link her shop down below. This is the Prima, Prima, like Prima Marketing? question mark prima planner my prima marketing it's the planner glue pen this puppy and they have them in different colors this one is clear i bought it i bought it in blue but it dries clear the colors just to be pretty this adhesive pen planner glue glue glue, glue pen so i used this a couple of times when i was setting up my foxy fix and what i discovered is that it is it goes on like a gelato it's gel based so it goes on the same way like a little less than a glue stick, a little more like like a gelato is kind of the, the texture of it. It goes on super sticky, but you still have a little bit of give enough to kind of change where you're laying something, but you don't have that long because when it dries down, it dries down. And it's just easy to work with. Like, I think that this is easier to work with than a glue stick because it's more slender and it's a little easy. It doesn't get all like, at least thus far, you know, sometimes you use a glue stick and it like mushes down. I love my big fat glue stick that I use for art journaling, but for my planner, I don't want to deal with that much. My glue, my art journal glue stick is like fucking penile in size. So I like a, a slender, more delicate glue stick for my planner. And this is just fantastic. It's two bucks, which can be expensive for a glue stick, but worth the quality. I don't glue enough crap into my planner to worry that I'm going to go through these like nobody's business. So hopefully two bucks is worth the price, but thus far I'm loving it. Time to be real. This month, I could not pick one favorite washi tape. I picked two and it's not going to surprise you because I am not the most creative person in the world when finding my favorites that one of the washies came from Planner Society and one of them came from Simply Gilded because that's generally where any of my favorite washi tapes come from. So yeah, I've got two favorites this month. I can only buy one of them. So I guess that would go to the edge to the Simply Gilded Washi because the Planner Society one's only available if you subscribe to the kit, which means you already would have gotten it. And if you didn't, then you can't get it. So I guess the edge goes to the one that's more accessible. So the Planner Society one is this blue floral situation that came in this month's, month's kit. And I will tell you, I love florals. I love so many of the Planner Society Washies, but this one, whoa. This one is goddamn gorgeous. I just love it. It's just this plain blue flowery shades of blue washi tape and it is everything that I've ever wanted in the plain blue shades of blue flowery washi tape. <laughs> the one from Simply Gilded is the unicorn horn, unicorn horn washi tape. And it's this guy. It's a little bit skinnier than your standard washi. It's iridescent. Oh, it's so pretty. I used it in my planner spread this week and I was just in love with it. I guess the one downside to this is that it you get less of it. It's a very thin roll. I've only used this the one time and not much there, but on the same note, like I don't even care. It's so beautiful. I will hoard the fuck out of this shit. This is $3 and 75 cents. It's simply gilded. And I know her washi's a little bit pricier than some washi tapes. However, she gets the foiled washies and they don't have the little paper on the inside. I mean, shit right there. That alone is worth the cost of the washi, but her washies are so beautiful and they're so unique. And it's pretty much the only washi I go and buy now besides the planner society kit washi. I don't go and actually buy washi tape anymore unless it's simply gilded. I feel kind of like a jerk because my favorite pen, it's not this month. I mean, this, these favorites are actually the last couple of months, few months. I haven't done a favorites in a while. This pen is so brand new to me. I got it this week, but holy shit. If it has not taken over my favorite, it like just stomped out all the other pens. And that is the new Tombow the new Tombow mono drawing pens and the one I'm particularly, and I did a video, I did a video on those too. That'll be linked. 03 is the one I'm loving. I'm using this in my planner this week. I'm actually using this in other places. Oh, the air conditioning just popped on. Shit. Give me one second. I'm going to go turn that off. I'll, I'm going to sweat so that you don't have to get shitty sound. So it took like 10 years for the AC to pop. It takes forever for it to pop on, but it takes like forever for it to turn off. And you can kind of see as I have been while I was doing that, that my other favorite for this month, we got a cat. That's Loki. Say hi, Loki. I'm not a cat person. <laughs> I was saying about the Tombow drawing pen. So I got these this week. These are a new pen. They're comparable to the Pigma Microns or to the Pit Artist pens. And I just really like it so far. I have no reasons for complaint. It doesn't bleed. 
it stands up to my heavy handedness. The ink is beautiful. I haven't tried it with water yet. It says it is pigment ink, but it's water based. So I don't know if I can watercolor on it or not. And I haven't tried yet, but just for writing and for lettering, I like it. So big fan of these. And I believe they are like 287 individually, or you can get the set of three tips. Three tips are better than one. The one, the 03 and the 05 for like 896. It's whatever the, the, Price is times three. There's no discount for buying the three pack versus the individual size. Just a heads up on that. But they're available at the Tombow website and I thus far, I am a fan. My favorite stickers this month, I, another dick move of mine. I'm, I, my favorite stickers this month are stickers you can't buy. I feel like I've been talking about my kidney disease a lot more often on the, on my channel and on my social media lately. And maybe it's because my kidneys are getting worse and it's more present in my life. Or maybe it's just that I finally just don't give a fuck about who knows about how my kidneys are sucking. A while back, I did a doodle of an angry kidney that's all lumpy flipping the bird because polycystic kidney disease, which is what I have, makes your kidneys look all lumpy and it feels like they're flipping me off on the regular. So I did a doodle, asked Kristen Damien from Christian Designs if she would make me ki angry kidney stickers so I could use them to mark appointments or days that my kidneys suck, which is a lot. Um, and she made me stickers, she made me all sorts of things with it. You can't buy it. I might release it for her to buy one day. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But right now you can't buy them. They are just for me. But I do want to like thank Kristen for making them for me and show you guys. So these are the Angry Kidney stickers in pastel. And she made me an Angry Kidney water bottle. You can kind of see the, the kidney design there up front. Now the reason I'm showing the water bottle off is because A, this is rad. I love this water bottle. Went with me to Arizona where I hydrated so much I was going pee every 45 minutes. Truth. But that Kristen said that this kind of water, like this swell style water bottle will be going on sale in her store, some in her shop, chrissyann.com. I can't even talk today, chrissyann.com. She didn't tell me when, but they are gonna be coming. So if you like this metal, metal swell style of water bottle, these will be coming, not necessarily with the kidney, but with something else. And know that when she does these, they're not like vinyl stuck on the outside of a glass. These are like screened onto the, onto the, onto the surface. So like you could, there's like, it's smooth. smooth. So yes, Angry Kidney merchandise. This is my favorite sticker and related thing for the month. And basically this is just a plug for me. Go buy her stickers because this is proof of how fucking rad she is. This is planner, plannering mid-year season. You know, everybody and their mother's coming out with academic editions, mid-year editions for planners. And I'm gonna be doing a video that's coming out tomorrow that will be talking about what I think my planner setup is gonna be for the second half of 2017. And I'll talk about what has not worked and what has not worked for me. Did I say that right? What has worked and what has not worked for me in the first half of 2017 and what I'm going to be taking away, what I'm going to be adding. And of course, you know, that probably will change in two weeks, but we'll talk about that later. So I'm going to be talking about all of those things then, and I'll be doing individual walkthroughs of certain things that are new to me. But I do want to do a shout out to the new Erin Condren large hardbound, says my name, Cindy Gunter Baldo. And it's the rose gold one, which according to my 13 year old makes me basic. Thanks, honey. I'm not gonna talk about the features of it because this isn't a walkthrough. I'll just, when I, when I do a walkthrough of how I'm using this, I'll talk about what I think about the features. But the reason I like this so far is because I'm using this for church. I am going to be in lay leadership this next year and like church year, so July 1st through June 30th. But I'm using it for church stuff specifically and the size of it is phenomenal. Like I am using, I'm like marking things on the calendar that are, fuck glare, whoo glare. I'm marking things on the calendar that are specifically for church. These spreads, like I'm not filling them up. I'm not using tons of stickers because you know, it's a hard bound so it'll fill up, but I am using it for things for church. And I will tell you for taking notes and things of that nature, the giant size, this eight and a half by 11 size, size is glorious. I don't think this would work for me for my regular planner because being hardbound, it's, I like using stickers, man. And this, I don't think what the number of stickers I use, this would be like, like this by the end of the year. I am loving this for church so far. And I will be doing a walkthrough of this in the next week or so to show you how I'm using it for church 
and I'll talk a little bit about it in my video tomorrow for my mid-year planners and I feel okay I'm just getting way off track here this one I love this one and those are all of my favorites for the last couple of months I'll say you know spring favorites early summer favorites June and then some favorites those are my favorites for the last however many months and I have other things I like and there's things that will pop up in other favorites videos but I just want to come on because I like talking about things I like I also like talking about things I don't like but that's another video what is it that you've been loving in the last couple of months because as I have made clear on this channel as much as I try not to spend money I love being enabled it's like a constant like battle the good angel and the bad angel the enabling angel and the fucking Cindy stick to a budget god damn it angel Regardless, let me know in the comments so that I and everyone else who was in the comments can be enabled. It's your job to make sure we go broke. God, that sounds jerky too. I am a jerk today. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to hear more about my jerkiness. And I will see you next time.